Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how we can automate your project management process by using templates. Now for most teams, you have a repeated set of tasks that you want to be able to use for certain project types. You don't wanna to have to do this from scratch each time. In this video, we're going to take a script that's been created in Airtable and be able to input that so that we can choose from different project templates and automatically create those tasks for us. Right now I have a base and I called it automated project creation. I have four different tables and I'm going to explain how we created those tables and why in just a moment here. Let's go ahead and find the extension that allows us to do this. We can open up extensions. Now Airtable has made it possible so that you can use an extension even on the free plan. So this is really helpful when using this for project management. I already have this enabled, but we can click on add an extension and we'll scroll down to where we see scripts, click on view all scripts, and then we're going to look at the one called create records for multiple templates. And you'll want to add that. We'll X out of this and we're actually gonna just put that on pause for a moment, the extension itself once you've enabled it, because we wanna talk about the structure and how we get to what we need in order to actually be able to do the templating. So when we think about the structure of a project, typically we have a projects table and a tasks table. And the relationship is set up as a one to many. We can have one project that's associated to many tasks. But those tasks are only associated to one project. But when we're trying to template this out, then we add on two additional tables. And this first one we call the template type. And you can kind of think of this as a parallel world to the project and the task. In this case, we have template type and template task. And this template type, you can think of as a type of project that you want to do. And that's really all the information that's associated with it. So in my world, we have enterprise projects, we have mid-market projects, we have quick start projects. Those are all examples of template types that we might have. Template tasks, on the other hand, are going to be the individual steps. They're exactly like the tasks up above that we see, except these are going to be the standardized ones we then copy. Let's talk through all of the tables and the fields that we need to be able to pull this off to be able to utilize that extension. On the projects, we'll have a project name for our primary field. This is just text. And then we have two essential fields that we need. If I edit this, I've called this one template type. And this is a link to our template types. And we're not allowing linking to multiple records. So normally that'll be on and we're going to turn that off. Again, that template types is going to be like our enterprise project or a quick start package. You'll probably have your own types that you wanna be able to have. The next field that we need is our tasks. Now this is pretty common. You'd be doing this anyways, if not for this extension. So this is a, another linked record. If I edit this field, you'll see that it's linked to tasks. In this case, we do allow linking to multiple records from the project because of course projects have multiple tasks. Now, on the other side of this relationship, on the tasks, if we look at the project here and we edit this, we can only select a single project. So we're only going to have these tasks for this individual project, and that's how we want that relationship set up. The next table that we have are tasks. Again, we need to be able to have the primary field. I've called this task name. We have the link to the project, which we just talked about, so you don't have to create another link. This should already be there and available to you. And then we need to add one more field, which is the order. Now this order, I just chose the number field, and I made sure to set the format as an integer, meaning a whole number. We don't need a decimal or float where we have 1.5, 1.7. We just want it to display as that whole number or integer. Let's go on to our template types. Template types, I gave that the name for our primary field. This now has that link to projects. Again, this should already be here because you already created the link from template type. If we look at the relationship on this side, we can allow linking to multiple records because we will be able to have multiple projects that share this template type. And then similar to how we have a link from projects to tasks, we have that link from template types to template tasks. If I look at this, again, it's a link. It's a link to template tasks. We allow linking to multiple records. That's turned on. And then if we go to template tasks, 
That template type should already be available. If we take a look at the relationship on this side, this is only allowing linking to a single record. So we make sure that this is switched to off. And then again, just like we had for our tasks, now we have an order. And once again, this is a number field set to an integer. So this is a lot of information. Feel free to slow down and pause what it is we're doing. But I wanna make sure that we really focus on these essential fields. Basically, you've got a primary field. You have sometimes an order. We have the order, which we have on template tasks and tasks. That orders a number. And then we also have those relationships. So feel free to go back through if you wanna double check what you've done, but these are all the pieces of information that we need in order to make this happen. Now I would recommend before actually running the extension that you add a little bit of data in here. It doesn't matter to have the projects already built or the task. You'll notice that I don't have any data for either of these. The reason I don't have data is because we're going to automatically generate those tasks. Where the data comes in is in template types. So I'd recommend, I'd encourage you to think, what kinds of projects do I have that I want represented here? For me, I created Enterprise Project and Quick Start Package. And then on the template tasks, think through some of those. You know, pick a few, maybe three tasks that you want for that. I just encourage you to have some data to be able to test and make sure that this works for you once we set up the extension. Now that you've got some data in here, let's go to our extension that we've enabled. Now this next piece is actually gonna be really easy for us because we've already set up the tables and all of the fields that we need exactly as is. Now, if you titled them the same way as me, you can copy the same exact values in here. If you preferred a different naming convention, then you'll have to think through a little bit of what exactly has to go in these fields. So the first thing I need to do is to select the table from which you need to create template records. In this case, this is our projects. We're creating projects. That's what we're considering the parent table. So you've got a drop down. I'm not selecting the template types. This is the projects itself. And then it's asking for the type table. This is where we're selecting our template types. This is the parent object that I would call it for the templates, not the tasks themselves, template types. Next thing we need to do is the template table. What are the actual objects that we're copying over and over again to put and attach to our projects? And this is called our template tasks. So you can select template tasks. And then we need to know the child table. Once it copies that data, where's it creating those records? And that's going to be in the tasks table. Now from here, we need to say the fields. We're focusing on the fields and not just the tables themselves. So it's saying, what's the linked record in the parent table to the type table? So that's from the parent table to that type table, which is our template type. So we can select the field template type. Notice that it's got a drop down of our fields template type. And now we need to know the field that goes from our template. So this is our, our template tasks and goes back to the type. So again, this is also called template type. And now in this case, it's looking for basically the primary field that we have in that template table. So we call this templated task. You can call that what you want, but that's that primary field. And then we have the template record order. We called this order. So again, this is the order field on our templated tasks. And now we need to find that same order field on our actual tasks table, which is easy because we also called that order. And then we have our child name, and this is the text field in the child table to indicate the name of the record. So again, that's the primary field. So as I'm on the task, we called that task name. We can select our primary field. And then finally, we're choosing the linked record in the child table to indicate the parent record. So again, task, and that's linking to the project. So we're selecting the project field. These are a lot of different dropdowns and it can be a little bit confusing if you've changed the naming convention. So I encourage you to go back and just make sure that it's set up the same way as mine. And I think that'll be the easiest way to do this. I think of them as projects and tasks, template types and template tasks. But once you're able to select these values, this is ready to go. We can go ahead 
and create a project. Let's give this a name. I'm just going to say it's our test enterprise project. And I'm going to choose a type. So I'll choose enterprise project. And I don't have to do anything with the tasks because this is going to do it all for me. Let's go ahead and hit run. And it's going to now give me the option to choose that record. So if I had multiple projects, I could just select the one project I want to be able to create those tasks for. I click on it. Boom. Already done. It's that quick. Lickety split. So it's the setup that takes a little bit of time. But once you've done the setup work, you're just ready to go. Notice that I can see all of these tasks that are available here. Or more likely, I'm going to look at my tasks table and see that they're all linked to my project. They have an order here. This is where we'd probably want to color code them and group them by the project that we have. Maybe we want to have different views, have a status, so we have it look at a Kanban or look at a timeline or a Gantt. Lots of different ways that we can make this more visual. The one thing I wanted to say, the biggest question that comes up is, well, Dan, this is great because we can have our tasks and copy them across. That makes it really easy. But what if I want to have a default assignee? What if I want to have due dates that are automatically set for these? Like this would be the really common next step when it comes to project management. And I hate to make a cliffhanger for you, but I fully intend to show you how you can do that. Now that involves getting into the code. You can see you can click to edit the code here. And this is written in JavaScript, which is essentially how the creator of this initially wrote this extension in the first place. And I'll show you how we can dig into the code to be able to take any of those common fields or custom fields that you've made to map those over as well. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the follow-up video that we're creating on how to actually take custom fields and be able to create them so that you have a much more powerful templating solution. I hope this makes your project management so much easier in Airtable with the ability to be able to template your projects instead of having to create tasks by hand every single time. Now, if you need help in setting up your Airtable, if you need help in being able to make those custom fields and template that out, be able to do integrations, come check us out at automationhelpers.com where we're offering a free consultation. You can click on the Contact Us button, set up a time where we're happy to work with you to be able to set up your Airtable just the way you need it to be. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.